Now let's look at this question. In this question, uh, there's no any uh, well. The coefficient of x squared is a uh, uh, well, it's positive. Okay, so let's well let's just rewrite it here. Plus x minus two. So the shape of the graph will be u shape. Will be this shape. Okay, now. Uh, because there's no indication of uh, a minus sign in the in front of x squared. Okay, now let's uh, start from the x intercept and y intercept. So when x equal to zero, y will be zero. Zero times zero is zero, plus zero minus two, which is minus two. Okay, and uh, when y equal to 0, we have 0 equals to x squared plus x minus 2. Okay, there are two ways to find out the uh, uh, x-intercept to solve this equation. So the first way is just to, okay, um, it's just to uh, factorize it x, well in year 10 we learn the factorization it because uh, this equation becomes x minus minus 1 bracket and bracket x plus 2 and your x will be positive 1 and minus 2 if you're not familiar with uh, if you if you're not familiar with factorization well, what you can do, you can use the formula and introduce the formula to you here. The formula is, I write down there, your, whenever, whenever you have uh, equation 0 equals to x squared plus x minus 2, uh, minus well, something, your equation, sorry, uh, your x will be minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4 ac okay divided by 2a that's when if you have a case 0 equals to ax squared plus bx plus c um, you you say this is a very useful formula. In exam, sometimes people is, well, sometimes it's very hard to factorize some equations. Just use this, uh, put it down in your notes. This just this is very useful information here. Okay. Do this. Also, you have to know if you're using this equation, this part, the part in the square root, b square minus four ac, okay, is called uh, we call it discriminant. We simplify it by our triangles here. Discriminate. Uh, yeah, discriminate. Discriminate. Okay. Well, the meaning of discriminate is if discriminate is to zero, you're only going to have one uh, solution. Okay, one x axis. Sometimes, sometimes this do ha happen, and if your discriminant is greater than zero, means it's a positive number. You have two x intercept, x uh, intercept, intercept. If your discriminant is less than zero, then then you have no x intercept. Okay. 
or no solution for this equation. Okay, let's do an example using let's do the question using uh, the rule. So in here, what I can state is a equals to one. We put this uh, this equation in the form of a x a times x squared plus b x plus a. So b will be one, and your c is minus two. Okay, and uh, we can put them in x equals to minus one plus or minus b squared one squared minus four times 1 times minus 2 divided by um, 2 times 1, 2a, divided by 2a. Okay, after you solve this question, you will have minus 1 plus or minus 9, square root of 9, which divided by 2, and your x will be, well, uh, Yeah. Your x will be, uh, if we solve it, 1 or minus 2. Okay. So you have two solutions. That's it. If you're using this formula, you get the same answer as you factorize it and find it out by the other way. Okay. Anyway, we have Okay, anyway, let's, uh, we find out our, we have our x-intercept. Now, let's just draw a graph. So, okay, I draw it here. Yeah, just draw a small graph down there. Okay, now we have our x and y point, and, uh, X intercept is one. Make it one, and here is minus two. The graph looks like that. So the graph will be okay. Sorry about that. Okay, draw it properly. And uh, your y intercept is also minus 2. When x is 0, your y is minus 2. So minus 2 here. And the turning point, turning point will be your x sum of your x intercept divided by 2, which is here is half. Minus half, and if we substitute this back into the equation using hand or using calculator, you would get um, minus 2.25. 2.25 here. So, so your turning point here. turning point here will be minus 0 0.5 and uh, minus 2.25 okay now we'll same thing we have to label the graph as okay as okay, let's do it here y equals to x squared plus x minus 2 and your x is belongs to r okay so 
that's how do we draw the graph. Okay, that's your final answer. Drawing the graph here. Sorry, that's your final answer. Let's do uh, question F. From question F, we can see there's a minus sign in front, in front of x uh, squared. So the shape of the graph will be like this. Okay, let's did clean up this star there. Okay, and now. <coughs> What you have is um, okay. Let's find the x intercept first. When x is uh, sorry, y intercept. When x is zero, y will be three. Okay. So when y is zero, you end up with minus x squared plus two x plus three. Okay. In this case, your a will be minus 1, b will be 2, and c will be 3. Okay. And uh, okay. either way, we, we either using, uh, let's use the formula to find out our answer. x, okay. let's find the discriminate first which is b squared minus 4ac okay. and uh, your discriminate is going to be b squared is 4 4 minus 4 times minus 1 you know, is 4 plus 12 which is 16 yeah, sorry I may sorry your discriminator is only this part B square five. Yeah. Okay. The discriminate only is B square minus minus four is without the square root sign there. Okay. Now um Using the formula, your x will be minus b plus minus square root of discriminate and uh, divided by 2a. And you will get, after solving this equation, you will get minus 1 or 3. Okay. Just substitute the number in b is 2, a is minus 1. You will get minus 1 and 3. <coughs> And now, uh, what we have is, and now uh, we have your, we have our uh, y intercept and x intercept. Let's draw the graph. Okay, let's draw it here. It's minus one. And three there. So that's your x. That's our y. And now we just draw a parabola. Okay. Yeah, sorry, guys. Just need to clean this up. Something looks like this. Okay, I can't really can't do anything better. Uh, so minus one. Okay, this point. 